about functional parity, which are uh, functionalities that we have we, that we don't support and we need to align uh, with web. In this case, we have uh, two two functionalities that, that were supported by Tracker and not by Android, which is the file value type. So if you remember before when you had a file, we had a we had here a message saying this value type is not supported. So <clears throat> this is the only difference. The files are supported now on Android. So the users can upload a file from the device from the data entry screen. The files can be assigned link to a user or to a program stage, like in this case with a birth certificate. And the maximum size of the file that the app will accept is configured in the Android settings web app. This can definitely have impact on your your implementations based on bandwidth and, and, and memory allocations as well. So, so be aware of, of how you configure the maximum size of the, of the files if you decide to use it. And it will apply for the files that are uploaded from the application. So I'm gonna move to the next one, which is the working list. Marcus will tell us more about this uh, later with Tracker. But there are working lists now that uh, allow a since last version that, that let you select data elements as well for, for your working list um, in addition to the attributes. So the Android app is now also reading those uh, working lists. Working lists have to be configured on the web uh, side with the capture app, but the Android app downloads them and offers them to the user here in this top bar together with the filters. And I'm gonna move now to the last part, the very exciting use case specific user interface. What does that mean? Use case specific user interface. A use case specific user interface is, um, is we have integrated the possibility or implemented the possibility to offer a different user interface and a different user experience based on the program. That, that is selected. So there have been three groups working on this, uh, the LMIS team, the Subdigitus team, and the Android team to make this a reality. And this is a huge step towards increasing our functional extensibility. Um, for now, it is in the application, like inside the code, the code has been restructured. And now this specific user interface has its own module, but needs to be added at compilation time. And then it will be offered uh, when the user uses the, the, the selected program. We are hoping and exploring options to make this even more modularized. But for now, this is how it works. We are very excited to present it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, we are gonna have George McGuire to explain us the functionality in a minute. So I'm gonna stay in the generic uh, level right now. How does this work on the HIS2? Uh, it is again configured with a web app, the second one that I mentioned before, the new one. So it's called Use Case Configuration Web App. And this app is going to let you choose which program type do you want to use. We only have logistics type for now. So you will say, I want to use a logistics program, which means a logistics program type, which means I want to have a logistics user interface or logistics data entry flow for the program that I select down here. In this case, real-time stock management. So this is made at the server level. So we are saying that the real-time stock management, which is a tracker program, will use the user experience, will offer the user experience, use the, the, the data entry flow that has been developed for logistics. In the app, that program is totally integrated. You can still use all the functionalities for the other programs and the analytics. So it is integrated in the current solution. However, if you remember when we open a tracker program in Android right now, this is the default screen for any tracker program. We have a list if it's configured to be displayed, either in the child program, the productive health program. So this is the default user experience for user interface for tracker programs. But now when I open real-time stock management, because I, I said in the server that this program will have this type, the app has downloaded this configuration. There are some parameters that need to be configured. The app will guide you through it, the web app. And then when you open 
it's offering you a different screen. So here, these are program stages or units and uh, other org units where you can deliver. So this UI is designed and tailored to certain user uh, data entry flow for uh, real-time stock management. I'm not gonna give more details about the use case because we actually have George here, uh, George McGuire from the LMIS team. So, so George, I think um, I'm, I'm done with the Android features and I'm gonna let you explain us a bit more about this exciting use case that has been integrated. Thank you.